This is a pre-release of the Morris Gen add-on for Blender 2.8 and higher. This add-on batch generates modular parts so you can assemble modular assets. First, the installation of the add-on is like other add-ons. Download the latest zip file and in Blender you go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and there you navigate to the zip file you just downloaded. Press Install, Save Preferences and Refresh. You will see a tab called MOAS in the M panel. Click on the thumbnail, Basic, and you will see a few profiles. Then click on one of the profiles. This will append a few collections into the scene. If you don't need or want to adjust the profile, then you can click the Create Parts button. Wait for a few seconds and you will see a bunch of modular parts in the scene. Before you build assets, let's turn on snapping on increment. Turn on Absolute Grid Snap and enable Move, Rotate and Scale. I suggest you to build assets by duplicate linked the objects and move them. You can do this with Alt plus D. When you also press Shift plus Z, then you can move the duplicates on the XY plane and will stay on the same Z level. Let's try this out with the floor level assets. By the way, they have the prefix FL in outline. You can use RZ to rotate a part on the Z axis. You can also use G, then Shift plus Z to move a part around on the XY plane. Once you have assembled parts, you can join parts if they come from the same profile. Or you can join also other parts, but only if the vertices exactly match on the overlapping location. To do this, select all the parts and click the button Join Parts in the M panel. In some cases, joining parts doesn't work. For example, when one of the parts has a mirror modifier or if the vertices doesn't match exactly. In the first case, you can solve this by applying mirror modifier first. Before I show you how to make your own profiles, I show you how to work with the parts in that level. Let's duplicate the straight floor a few times. We select the parts and join them. Press a slash on the number keypad and press 5 then 1. Press tab to go in edit mode and press 1 to activate vertex select mode. Toggle X-ray in the viewport menu so you can select vertices that are behind each other. Click on one vertex then press B to box select. Now press the full stop on your keyboard and select Active Element. Zoom in and navigate to a vertex that is exactly on the X axis. Shift left click it twice to make it the active vertex. The vertex becomes white and the other ones orange. Zoom out and press G plus Z to drag the mouse until you move the parts up exactly one unit or one meter. Press AA to deselect everything. Press B to box select. Select some vertices and press Ctrl B. You can move the mouse to the left and to the right to adjust the size of the bevel and scroll to adjust the amount of edge loops. Press Tab to go out of edit mode and press the slash on the number keypad to go out of local view. You see that you can now build your assets in Z level. Now I show you how to adjust a profile and save them. Press Ctrl plus N to start a new scene. Choose the basic profile and this will put the profiles into the scene. On your numeric keypad press 5 then 3 to go in right orthographic view. Select the floor profile and press tab to go in edit mode. I use a lot of the time the shortcut Ctrl B to bevel edges. You can also rip edges with Shift plus V. And then I scale down the face so they will be disconnected clearly from the other faces.
This gives an insert boolean effect, as it is called in other add-ons. I use also often Ctrl plus R to make edge loops. Sometimes you work on one side of a profile and then you can use a mirror modifier to make both sides equal, but don't forget to apply the mirror modifier. I will speed up the view for the rest of the profiles. If you want to save your profile, so it will show up the next time in the preview, then make a render of the profile of 500 by 500 pixels and render it as a PNG file. You place this image in the add-ons folder, NMS folder and then profiles folder. And you save the blend file in the same folder and you give the image and the blend file the same name. 